Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Morning Talks with Ro. I cannot see myself, and you probably can see me, but because I can't see me, I'm like, hmm, let me get another location. I am still in Chicago, Illinois. Right now, I'm in a parking lot, so I'm not being like crazy. <laughs> but I'm still in Chicago, Illinois. I'm getting ready to leave today, so shout out to Safe Travels, right? Um, I'm going to see if I can turn my car and if this makes a difference in this major shadow that I see. You guys are going to have to communicate with me because I'm not sure if this is um, shading me or not. Good morning. Welcome to Morning Talks with Ro, everybody. Who's ready to get the week? Continue the week. Uh, in a way that is empowering, um, that puts you on track with your goals, that helps you to chip away at whatever you need to be chipping away at. Hey, talk to me, you guys. Can you see me? Because I have major shadowing for me, and I don't know where to be. (laughs) So I think I need you to chime in and let me know what's up. Nashua, hey, lady, shout out to Belgium in the building. Good morning, Charles. Can you guys see me? Can you give me some feedback? Who has their morning drink, y'all? All All right, sorry about that. Great. I'm glad you guys can see me. So I think we had such a good talk last week that it might be good to just have another free-for-all. If there's anything that anybody wants to talk about in particular, let me know. (laughs) Let me know. Do you have any questions? Is anybody having any difficulty making it, um, you know, following through? on your goals are you dealing with a lot of fear you know if that's something we need to talk about today let's talk about it are you dealing with some procrastination Uh, if that's something we want to talk about let's talk about it are you not clear about how to get to what you want to get to or even what you think you want because the, the lack of confidence is there or the lack of belief in yourself is there what do you think is a good thing for us to tackle today what up welcome to morning talks with Ro. (laughs) <laughs> and um, thank you for your patience with me about not doing the video yesterday. You know, I know that this year might be kind of a whirlwind of a year for me, and I have to take advantage of these precious moments with family when I can get them. So I prioritized my family and my friends, and I'm glad that I did. I had a wonderful time. I don't know if y'all saw the videos, but the food was off the chain. <laughs> the food was off the chain. We had such a good time. We didn't spare any expense. We were like, yo, we're going to have a feast. Let's go get whatever we want, and let's just have fun. We turned on some good music. We did a lot of dancing. We talked about a lot of stuff. We uh, empowered each other. Um, I was around a lot of positive energy. And these are all things that we can generate ourselves. If you know that you're around people that are downers, then it doesn't mean you have to cut them out of your life, but you may have to create some distance in order for you to be in a certain vibration of living, you know, a certain way of operating, a certain way of keeping your mind in a certain space so that you can create and receive from that place. So talk to me, you guys. Um, Is there something in particular that you'd like to talk about? How about fear? fear? Does fear have anybody going, you know, a little bonkers? Um, it's up to you. We don't have to make it a long talk today. Maybe I can just drop a few little things uh, to be said and um, peace out. You know what I mean? I'm getting ready to go back to Cali for (laughs) us. We got to go to uh, New York the next morning. So I think it's going to be one of those kind of years, you know. So um, I will be doing my best to stay as consistent as possible with morning talks with Ro. Uh, in whatever way I can. Let me see if anybody asked anything up here. You guys are just tuned in. (laughs) Okay, let's see. Uh, Nashua says, have a topic. Don't have a lot of friends. Don't really look for and really focus on me and delete people in life who are not good. So just uh, stay by yourself. Is that something that, uh, you, you know, when I went through, when I wanted to turn my life around, when I was having difficulty uh, opening doors of opportunity in this entertainment business, when I thought I was changing my career, one of the things that I did do was I cocooned. I spent a lot of time with myself. I basically declared and treated it like I was going off to college or going off to university and that I was um, taking some time to just focus on my dreams, 
focus on where I was going, focus on whatever the disciplines I needed to develop, I developed them. Any books I needed to read, I read them. Every day, every day for a couple years, a few years maybe, I studied at no less than an hour a day. That's how gangster I was with it. I was like, I need to turn myself, my life around. And I find that whenever you want to see change in any particular area of your life, it is good to completely immerse yourself in it, to totally submerge in the subject matter. When I was dealing with financial hardship, I was like, okay, I got to turn this around. What do I need to do? I started reading books on abundance. I started to go to abundance seminars. I took every, I played at 150%. I went above and beyond. I did not wait for life to happen to me. I happened to life. And look at my turnaround. Now, of course, we don't know exactly sometimes where we're going to go, where we're going to land. You know, some of the dreams that I have in my mind have yet to manifest. Some of the things that I didn't even know were going to be here are here because it's still playing out the things that I asked for. Maybe it's a word that's manifesting. You know, maybe it's prosperity, but sometimes you don't know how prosperity is going to show up in your life. I still kind of got the sniffles, you know, it's like kind of this lingering thing. Um... You don't know how prosperity is going to show up, but you focus on it. You claim it every day. You speak it. You know what I mean? You, you, you look for it. You, you endeavor to create it. And sometimes the universe has even bigger plans. But my job is to stay focused, to keep, making, to keep um, investing in the vision, to keep speaking things into existence, to keep finding the mentors, to keep finding the success tools and success surrounding myself with this stuff constantly until I start to see the change. And then what I don't want to do, the mistake I don't want to make anymore, is to get complacent, to get lackadaisical because now you've created it. you got to maintain. you got to keep elevating. you got to keep adding logs to the fire. And it keeps life adventurous. It keeps life inter interesting. Let's see what you guys are saying. Um... Uh, let's see, let's see. How do you deal with trying to pursue your goals but dealing with somebody who won't let you do so? Relationship. Mm -hmm. Well, I think it's important, Carrington, to evaluate who is it that you're entertaining in your life. Who is that person? And, and have you had a heart-to-heart -heart with them about what your goals are and their ability to support you in that? And how important are your goals to your own life? to your own adventure I mean these are these are questions that I think are very important for you to ask yourself and then to prioritize things accordingly and if that person can't get with your dreams if that's compromising your joy if that's compromising your ability to come into your greater potential is it worth it is it worth it is it worth it answer that question and let's come back to that Nashua says, so how do you find the right friends? I think the right, you find each other. You attract the right friends. When you be, as you become who you become, you're going to gravitate towards a certain group of people that have a certain mindset. Um, certain groups of people are going to hear your conversation. They're going to see your actions, and they'll gravitate to you. So I think more of the concern is just who are you becoming and allowing that to shine forth operating from that person, from that space, from that mindset. And you're going to hear, as long as, as long as you're focused on certain things, you're going to see certain things that match the vibration, match the energy, match the attitude of who you are. Does that make sense? Let's see. Neil says, why is it this? Okay. Uh, it's okay to be scared, not okay for fear to overcome you. Yes. I mean, you know, at the end of the day, why do you have the fear? There's certain things that makes, make us fearful. Sometimes it's the fear of loss. Maybe you fear you're going to lose something and so you don't go for it. You know what I mean? What are you afraid you're going to lose? Yourself? You know what I mean? Your control over something? Your heart space? Are you afraid that something's going to hurt you? You know, what is it that you're afraid you might lose? And then what do you need to either surround yourself with? What new mindset, what new perspective do you need to pick up that's going to help you to get okay even with a certain kind of loss? 
sometimes loss is necessary. Sometimes it's, you know, sometimes the risk of loss is where all the adventure, where all the joy is. You know, but if you're going to lose yourself, and even sometimes, ooh, sometimes you do need to lose yourself. Sometimes the old you ain't working. The, the ideologies, the philosophies, the thought processes that you've been operating in don't serve you. They don't serve you anymore. Maybe you need to lose that. You know, maybe you do need to lose a little control to gain better control back. Maybe you do need to lose the belief system in order to gain a new one. You know, maybe you do, maybe it is necessary for us to get, to get comfortable with the uncomfortable until you develop this other aspect of yourself or this other aspect of being, this new way of, of operating, this new um, way of responding to life. It's going to feel uncomfortable. You know, but you're going to be gaining on the other end. So sometimes we do need to lose to gain. So if it's a fear of loss, think about it from that perspective. Is it a fear of the process of things? Like what you need to do to get it. Who you need to become to get it. Who you need to speak to. Uh, the steps you need to take. Are you afraid of the process of something? And if you are reworking your mindset and perspective around that. Because everything, I find that so much of where our success lies in life is perspective. All right, you guys, I had to find a new location because the other one played me out. Sorry. <laughs> Sometimes whenever the video goes off, I feel like it's the universe kicking in and saying, okay, that thought's complete, but I really don't know. I just, um, I was in the very similar spot uh, that I was yesterday and it played me. So today's talks, pro today's talk talks, probably won't be as long, but we were in the process of talking about, we were in the process of talking about the process. <laughs> I hope you guys can see me because I had to change my uh, positioning. It looks so shaded, but sometimes when I look back on the video, you can actually see me. We were talking about fear, excuse me, and how to, um, to navigate that and where it's coming from. And one of the things we were pointing out, or I was pointing out in the beginning was, you know, is it a fear of loss? So you can check out the other video for my comments on that. And then we were talking about, are you afraid of the process of something? The steps it will take to get there. Um, who you'll have to become to have it. Uh, the, 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 the fear you'll have to face, you know, um, in order to take bold and decisive action towards something. Is it that? And then learning how to rework our perspective uh, around things. What we think about things. How we're approaching things. Because I find... That a lot of success is about perspective, which is very powerful to me. Because that means that nothing, majority of the time, nothing outside of yourself in physical reality needs to change. It's really what's happening, in, happening internally. It's what's happening in your thought process. It's what's happening with your perspective. It's what's happening with your response to life that makes all the difference. So if you shift in those things, you can start to see different things shift in your physical reality just because of the change you've made on the inside. Success mostly is an inside job. So powerful to me. And then the other thing that could possibly be causing fear is the outcome. What are you afraid of that might, are you afraid that you'll do all this work? You'll go so hard in the pain and it won't come to pass. Is that, a, is that the fear too? You know, some people are like, man, if I, what if I go, what if everybody who doesn't believe in me, I still go beyond their doubts and their fears and then it doesn't happen. <sighs> Whatever, right? Because what I find is that when we start to become who we need to become to get to whatever that thing is, when we go so hard on the paint that, when, that we shut out all the doubts and the, naysay the naysayers, we just say, you know what, no matter what, I'm just going to do it. Even if that thing that you thought you wanted doesn't happen, something else is going to happen. And it's probably going to go beyond what you even thought was possible. It's probably going to be better than what you set out to get. A lot of the times that's the case, you know. So I would say go be, don't project so much into the future unless it's positive, unless it's something that empowers you, unless it's a vision that drives you, unless it's something that feeds you in a good and positive way. Don't project the negativity. And, 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 and borrow tomorrow's worries for today. That's something my mom used to say, and I love that. Don't borrow tomorrow's worries for today. It might not even happen. A lot of the times it doesn't happen. It's based off of old fear. 
It's based off of stuff that d d doesn't really exist in the first place. We're allowing it to exist in our mind. 